Peggy 3. Welcome back to another episode of The Boot Room. My name's Matt Cuttle, this is Darren Cross of Match Magazine. And this time we're looking at some advanced skill moves that you might not necessarily use in a game, but they're equally cool anyway, aren't they? Yeah, exactly that. I think these are the, uh, the trickiest moves, or certainly the ones that I find the trickiest to do, but when you can make them work, they do look really cool. Right, what's the first one that probably serves not much of a purpose, but looks cool? Yeah, uh, the first one is the chest flick, um, and it might even be the hardest one to do of, of all the ones that we're going to look at today. So you need a five-star player, and you need to be juggling the ball. Uh, to do that, you'd hold left trigger down and then repeatedly tap RB to juggle. Um, then what you do is you push the left stick forwards and hold it in, like a button, and then when you do that, you press the right stick in three times as well um, and hopefully your player will uh, loop the ball up into the air then sort of catch it on his chest and spin it round. It looks pretty cool. What's the timing on this? I guess it's when the ball is up in the air from one of the juggle kicks. Yeah, you've got to be quick. So when you push that left stick it sort of forwards and in, then you've got to do three very quick presses on, on the right stick and uh, you'll know if you've got it right or not um, by, the, by the way the ball moves. A really flash thing if you want to add something to it is occasionally uh, you'll be able to uh, hit a volley. Uh, straight after the chest flick and uh, if that goes in then it does look really good. Now the next move isn't actually an official move but it's a fan favourite isn't it? Yeah it is, I'm not sure where the name came from, a friend of mine showed it to me a while ago and I think if you're a skiller if you like it's one that you'll certainly know but there may be a lot of players out there that don't know about it and it's the Wacka Wacka. Um, it's, quite a, it's quite a complicated move, again you need a, a five star skills player and uh, if you bear with me on this the, the way to do it is to take the right stick across to three on a clock face and slide it round so up through 12 to the 9 position. Okay, that's then, like 180 degrees on exactly, the top. Exactly, yeah, yeah, and then as you come back uh, towards the 9 position, you flick the left stick to the left. That's if you want to do the wacka wacka going to the left. Um, you'll know if you've done it right or not because your player will spin in a kind of a 360 before he uh, touches the ball and then he'll take it with him with his back foot. Now in terms of orientation of doing that, where does your player have to be? Is it best to just do this, say, in the arena or something? Yeah, yeah I'd definitely go and try it in the arena first. Sounds intriguing, I'm certainly going to try that. Darren, what's your next one? It's the triple elastico, it's another five star move. You'll need to be standing still for this one uh, and the movement is with the right stick you move down to sort of six on the clock face, round to three and then back round through down to the sort of the nine position so it's down right and then back round to left. Uh, that does the triple elastico which I think is quite handy if you're doing it with a left footed player because often the ball will end up on the left side so if you were to combine it um, that move with a, a shot afterwards then it should be on your strong side. If you wanted to go for a, a similar move with a right footed player then you could do the hocus pocus which is just the reverse of that move. So let's look at the next one. Again, it's not an official move, but it's called the... Rabona Lob. Yeah, it's a really, really good one, um, especially when you can get it to work. It's very tough. Again, I mean, all of them are here are tough, but this one is quite challenging. So I find the easiest way to set this up is to use the uh, chop skill move. So with a right-footed player, I would chop the ball to the left so that it was on his left side. And it's just a case of keeping hold of LT, pushing forwards on the left stick, and then hitting the lob button to try and... Uh, chip the keeper and when I say the lob button I mean the lob pass it's not actually a shot button that you use for this trick it's, it's the pass button um, if you got it right you'll see a player um, move his dominant foot behind his weaker foot and uh, attempt to chip the keeper that sounds really cool and it looks cool in this clip as well I guess it's great if you, if you pull it off exactly and it, it really isn't as complicated as, as I've probably made it sound there you know yeah. when, like all of these um, tricks and skills once you've practiced them a few times in the arena the, the motion becomes very natural and, and you'll know when to use it Darren you've got one more tip for us but this is more about timing than anything isn't it yeah timing's really important I mean this is a, a combo uh, trick really it's the rainbow flick into a Rabona fake um, the rainbow flick doesn't jump out as being particularly tricky or complicated I think we've probably all been in the arena where we've gone back forwards forwards flicked it over our heads and volleyed it into the into the bottom corner in a game situation if you're running right for example you flick the right stick to the left and then to the right twice yeah. so that's the first part as the ball drops and this is where um, you'll need to be using a, a five star skills player you can do the Rabona fake so usually the ball will drop into the perfect stride for a Rabona fake uh, and you do that just by holding left trigger and then doing the fake uh, pass move so power up a long pass cancel with a short pass mm -hmm all while holding the left stick in the opposite direction to the one that you're facing. Uh, and ideally, if you've done this right, what will happen is you'll rainbow flick the ball over your head and then it'll be legs um, behind one, one of the other legs to sort of a bona fake it at the end and it looks really good. Darren, thanks for those advanced skill moves tips. What are we looking at next time? Next time we're looking at how to create the space to shoot. Good, I always struggle with that, so I do look forward to that one. You can catch Darren in Match Magazine every Tuesday. Details of their Facebook page are also on screen now. We'll see you next time for those tips on The Boot Room. <laughs>